Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at technical indicators to pair with stochastic oscillator. So first, let's get an overview of what the stochastic oscillator is. So the stochastic oscillator is a popular momentum indicator. It compares the price range over a given period of time to the closing price over that same period. It's highly sensitive to price movements in the market and perhaps oscillates more frequently up and down than nearly any other momentum indicator. So here is what a stochastic oscillator will look like in a chart. So here we have the 30 minute candlestick chart for Nifty and we've ap applied the standard stochastic oscillator on the chart, so which has appeared in the bottom below the candlestick chart. So this specific range that you can see here, the 20 to 80, this indicates the normal levels. And if the stochastic oscillator is going above the blue line specifically, when it is going above the 80 line, that means that the stock price is overbought. And when it crosses below the 20 line, it means that the stock is oversold. Anyway, let's see why the stochastic oscillator is sensitive to price. So this sensitive to price movement can provide early signals of directional change in a market, but it can also provide a lot of false signals. So the stochastic oscillator sensitivity can be reduced by altering the time period used or by using a moving average of the stochastic oscillator's value. So the basic theory behind the stochastic oscillator is that prices generally close nearly high in an uptrending market, while in a downtrending market, prices typically close near the low. Trading signals are given when the percentage K line, that is the blue line which we saw in the stochastic oscillator. So that line crosses over a th three period moving average line known as the percentage D. So this extra red line, which we are seeing in the indicator here, this is the percentage D line. And this blue line is the percentage K line. Now let's see what technical indicators to pair with the stochastic oscillator to get good signals. Some of the best technical indicators to complement the stochastic oscillator are moving average crossovers and other momentum indicators. Now moving average crossovers can be used as a complement to the crossover trading signals given by the stochastic. A bullish crossover which can occur when a short term moving average crosses from below to above a long term moving average confirms an upward trend. Now, a bearish crossover provides additional confirmation of a downtrend indication indicator. So let's see in the chart here. Here we have again the Nifty 50 index chart and we have applied the 30 minute candlestick chart. And on this we have the weighted moving average and we have two weighted moving average lines. So the small period one is the 12 period weighted moving average, which we can see here, this red line is the 12 period weighted moving average. And this blue line, which you can see going across is the 144 period weighted moving average. And below the candlestick chart here, we have the stochastic oscillator. So when we use the weighted moving average crossover along with the stochastic oscillator, we get extra signal confirmation. So that you have a confirmation that the stochastic oscillator is a is confirming properly the signals given or whether it's a false signal or not you can confirm it using the extra moving average crossover so we need the short term moving average crossover to go above the long term moving average crossover so this red line needs to be above the blue line and that is a buy signal so this here is a buy signal and same way we can see that it crosses over here too in the chart. So however, when we check in the stochastic oscillator, we can see that it's already overbought. But according to the moving average crossover line, it's still in an uptrend. So when it crosses over, we can get a confirmation signal that it is in a bullish trend. And when it crosses down, so basically we need the blue line that is the percentage K line here to be above the percentage D line, which is the red line here. So in the stochastic oscillator, we are getting the signal 
by signal here itself. However, in the moving average crossover, we are getting it a little late. So this can be adjusted based on the time period, of course, based on your preference or your trading style. But here you can see that when you use two indicators, you can get a better confirmation of the uptrends and the downtrends and how the momentum of the stock price is going. So this is how you use the moving average crossover along with the stochastic oscillator. So that's a buy signal here and here let's look at the bullish signal. So here in the in this place here we have the bear signal already approaching. So the percentage K line that is the stochastic line has crossed down and gone below the uh, percentage D line that is the three period moving average of the percentage K line and here in the moving average crossover we're already seeing here it's going into a downtrend but it's definitely a sell signal here which is already too late so in this way you can use two signals to two indicators to get better signal confirmation now other momentum indicators such as the relative strength index that or the RSI indicator and the moving average convergence divergence also known as MACD can also be used to complement the stochastic oscillator. Now either of those, these commonly used momentum indicators can be looked at for signals that are in agreement with the stochastic oscillator to confirm its indication. So next we'll pair the stochastic and the MACD indicator. So these are two popular indicators that work well together and this has resulted in the pairing of the stochastic and the MACD. This team works because the stochastic is comparing the stock's closing price to its price range over a certain period of time. Whereas the MACD is a formation of two moving averages diverging from and converging with each other. So this combination is highly effective if you are using it to the fullest potential. So here is an example of what it will look like in the chart. So here we have the candlestick chart of Nifty with 30 minute candlestick given. And on the top we have the stochastic oscillator and then we have the MACD indicator right along below it, just below it. So in order to make it easier, we have the blue line slightly thicker and this blue line again is the percentage K line and the red line is the percentage D line. In order to get a bullish signal, we need the blue line to be above the red line. And to make it easier to understand the MACD also, we have the MACD line in blue and the red line is the signal line. So again in the MACD also we want the blue line to be above the red line to get a bullish signaling. So that is here and in here. Here is also a buy signal and here again we have a buy signal. So that is one way of looking at it. Let's look at some more. So to be able to establish how to integrate a bullish MACD crossover and a bullish stochastic crossover into the trend confirmation strategy. In the case of a bullish MACD, this will occur when the histogram value is above the equilibrium line. So this is the histogram. This little green and this little red volume indicator. These are the histogram and they need to be above the equilibrium line. So this is this indicates a bullish movement. This little green in histogram. And when the MACD line is of greater value than the 9-day exponential moving average. So this is the signal line. So the MACD line has to be greater than the value of the 9-day moving average. So that is the blue line, the MACD line should be greater than the red line which is the 9-day moving average line. Now the stochastics bullish divergence occurs when the percentage K value passes the percentage D confirming a likely price turnaround. As we've already seen, here we have a bullish crossover here again. 
once it touches we can see two bullish crossovers very happening very close by so again let's look at another example then we will go into the live market chart to get an idea get a better idea of it how it will look in the actual live market so let's see some bullish crossovers in the stochastic oscillator and the MACD oscillator so here in the beginning itself we have one bullish crossover and here it turns bearish over here and for MACD it's slightly slower it goes a little bearish slower then let's look at here again we have a very tiny bullish movement however in the MACD line in the stock in the stochastic indicator it shows a strong bullish trend next let's see here we have another bullish trend in the MACD and in the stochastic oscillator so this is definitely a very good sign to um, invest as we can tell since both of them are in alignment this would have been a good spot for investing in the nifty 50 index according to both of these charts that is the stochastic indicator and the MACD indicator so let's look at the live market so here we have the US oil that is the WTI crude oil chart running and this is the one minute candlestick chart as we can see here so we have already applied the stochastic indicator and the MACD indicator on the candlestick chart so if we see here since the one minute candlestick chart is too close and we can miss signals easily for the teaching purposes we'll keep it to 30 minutes again now let's see some bullish trends crossovers happening in the MACD and the stochastic oscillator so here in the MACD we have one bullish movement here and in the stochastic oscillator we also have a bullish crossover right here in the same place so this is definitely a good signal so let's mark it here is one good spot and in the stochastic oscillator we have it here So this comes at 54.81 so let's see where the crossover ends in the stochastic oscillator it ends here in the MACD it ends here let's consider both so from 54.7 we have 54.8 okay from 54.8 we stop at 55.09 or basically in around 55.08 we have a negative bearish crossover happening in the stochastic oscillator and in the MACD oscillator if we wait you for the MACD oscillator it would be at 554.8 which is basically two equal very equal and no shows a no loss or no gain with a barely minimum profit seen so let's look at some more let's go backward and see some more chart movement here we have one definite crossover happening in the stochastic oscillator we have an upward movement at around 53.85 levels it yeah 
and here a crossover in the MACD happens also very close by at the 54.4 levels 53.9 and 54.4 where does the bearish crossover happen right here here we have 55.58 which is definitely a profit from 53.8 we have a 55.8 which is 55.6 so definitely a small profit to be seen there if we use intraday trading signals and for MACD's indicator we use 54.4 and 55.4 so here again with using the MACD also we make if used the MACD with indicator alone we'd also make a tiny profit so we can see both the stochastic and the MACD oscillator have been giving consistent signals so for longer term let's use one day charts so one day charts as you can see they don't have random upward and downward movements very quickly happening in this specific region. So yeah, here we have another bullish run happening. So let's look at this. This is the last and we'll stop after this. So first we have bullish crossover happening at the stochastic signal at 52.24 so even if we take it after confirmation we have it at 52.0 if we consider the closing price 50 yeah and with MACD we have the closing price at 54 now let's look at where the crossover bear turns bearish for a sell signal so here in the stochastic oscillator we have the crossover happening at 59.1 from 51 we get up till 59 so that is definitely a profit if we use one day candlestick chart and the stochastic oscillator with the macd we have it at 54 and it closes at 56 56.5 so that's definitely a smaller profit if we use the MACD indicator alone so in this way you can use combination of stochastic and MACD for confirming your signals so that is all So here are the sources for this specific news uh, educational material which we have gathered. We will be adding these links to the description below if you would like to study more. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to start trading in the stock market, you can create your DMAT account with Alice Blue. With Alice Blue's brokerage services, you'll get excellent exposures and margin for trading in the stock market.